Hey, what's going on, Internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film, and in this After Effects video, we're going to be reviewing an awesome plugin called Video Library, which has 1,000 plus presets and scenes for title animations inside of After Effects. I'm very excited to dive in this video and show you off everything that this plugin can do and all the amazing presets that come with this plugin and you can click the links in the description at any time it'll take you to this page where you can check out and learn more about our video presets so we have some footage here and we want to create somewhat of an intro here we need some titles we need to be able to introduce our sequence here so what we can do very easily is once video library is installed we can go up to window extensions and grab animation studio and there's this window that pops up and you can see all these amazing tabs with the presets inside of here. So what's cool, you can click on a tab here, say modern, you can preview what you'll be adding to your project file. So this is really cool. So we can say we got grunge, we wanted something grungy, we absolutely have that and we have all this amazing animation presets available. And there are 12 categories of presets from extreme, ink, modern, urban, grunge, all the way down to corporate. So there's plenty of styles to choose from. So let's say we want to go with a grunge style. So we can click on this one. We like how it looks and we think it's going to look great for our uh, footage. So when you have this in here, make sure your timeline indicator is exactly where you want to apply this and you click on apply. And it'll take a couple of seconds. And if we play this real quick, bam, we have our nice intro in here and things look awesome. And you see we have a lot of grunge in here. Uh, we have particles flying around. This is just a part of the grunge pack. And let's say you want to change the text. And if we want to change the title, what we can do is click on text setup. And you can come here and type out your text. So maybe we'll change out Nitrozem, if I said that correctly, with Sunduck. And Nitrozem is the author of this video library. And when you have your title in here, you just click apply. And it automatically updates it in your composition. And what's really cool about this is that it gets imported as a composition inside of After Effects, meaning if you open this up, you can manually change the titles inside of After Effects. So you don't have to do it this way. It's a quicker way to do it this way, but if you want to change, say, your typeface style, you can easily just come in here, grab your textile tool, change that up, change the typeface if you need to, and it's that easy. So obviously we have this brilliant scene in here, but let's say we want to customize the scene. You click on the cog icon here in Animation Studio, and this will bring you to the control panel where you'll be able to easily change color. So we have the yellow in here. We can change the element color to maybe like a brand color. So maybe we change it to blue. We have text color. We can, of course, change that if we want to. And then there's sliders that will update things. You got particles. So you have pretty much full control over the color palette of your scene. So we go back to our main comp, which pink will probably look terrible but you can see we can easily change the colors of everything so let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of other ones real quick so this is underneath the corporate package that so we apply it so we have another title template here from corporate and let's let's say we want to manipulate some of these elements so what we can do is we can go into this composition and there's this hide icon right here you just click on it and you see all the layers inside of this composition you can this is also a great way to learn how this stuff was created but let's say we don't like uh, the title the best way to promote your business what we can do is we can just hide that we don't even need it in this composition you can hide it and updates automatically you can easily manipulate the elements that you want in here and we can also go back to our control panel by clicking the cog icon and we can easily just start manipulating the colors of our presentation here so maybe we want green go back to our main comp and boom we just updated the colors within a couple of seconds and one of the really cool features about this plugin is that it is responsive. So let's come here to a 235 to 1 composition. So this is 16 by 9, and this is you know widescreen. And with this preset applied, you can see that the template takes the size of the composition. So this is essentially a responsive design, so it doesn't matter what your resolution is. So that's really cool. So this has been my run through of Video Library, and it's an amazing extension for After Effects. I'm going to call it a plugin from here because essentially if you think of a template, you open up a template and you have to bring in all your footage into that template project file and you have to render it from that project file. But with Animation Studio, you have all these beautiful templates here, but you can open it up in any project file. So it's basically the separate window that you just bring into your project file and you can apply all these templates at any time, which is amazing. They're very easy to update 
And overall, this will save you a lot of time having all these presets in here. So if you're constantly doing title design, so if you're constantly doing title design, and if you need a quick way to produce stunning results of your titles, this is the way to go with video library and installing Animation Studio inside of After Effects. So go ahead and check out the video library. Once again, you check the links in the description. It'll take you right to this page. It's only $38 at the moment, and you're getting tons of scenes. And this will save you a ton of time as you move forward and you're going to produce some amazing work and really impress the people that you work for. So go ahead and check it out. There's a lot of great things in here. Check the links in the description and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and learned a little bit about video library and you can see how awesome this is. I'm happy that I was able to share this with you guys today. And overall, I'll definitely be using video library to speed up my workflow. And that's my review of video library from Nitro Zim. Sorry if I pronounced that a little bit wrong, but hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did enjoy this review video, go ahead and drop a like on this video so I know this video was helpful. Subscribe to the channel for more After Effects videos just like this, and please be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of the video, and always be creative.